I V B N The Rich Video Blog Network Home to Weekly NFL Predictions Great Personality Profiles Great Professional Wrestling Video Blogs Great Sports Video Blogs Great Top 10 List of Everything and Anything Video Blogs Plus a whole lot more Collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites, RVBN, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 3.29 in the afternoon in Bellica, Massachusetts. It stopped raining about 69 degrees. Some heavy duty rain south of the Mass Pike, especially at Cape Cod and the island. Some news to report on the RVBN news. Why do 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 do? It's official. The Boston Celtics traded um, Avery Bradley away to the Detroit Pistons for Marcus Morris. This is to create salary cap space for Gordon Haywood. And also, the Celtics announced that Jay Crowder's no longer on the trading block. I predicted that Avery Bradley was going to move because he was due for a big contract. He played seven seasons with the Celtics. Also, it's Happy World Chocolate Day. Indians manager Terry Francona is going to miss the All-Star Game due to a heart procedure, but he'll be back managing the, the Indians in next week after the All-Star break. Prayers to Terry um, Francona. And the United States of America added 222,000 jobs in June. That's pretty good. And that's about it on the news from the RVBN News. Why do, 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 do. Be back in a flash with my second video blog subject of the day, which will be about cities that the Pawtucket Red Sox should consider moving if they do not get a new ballpark to replace McCoy Stadium in Pawtucket. But first, hear this. Pump it up, 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 pump it up. Get your exercise and walk, run, jump, skip rope, jump rope, swim. Take power walks, take power runs, take power anything. Do it for at least a half hour each and every day. Get the heart pumping and moving, the heart health, and you could be slim and trim. RVBN. Time now is 3. 32 in the afternoon in Bellica, Massachusetts. I am back. My second video blog subject of the day is about cities that the Pawtucket Red Sox should consider moving if they do not get any funding to build a new um, ballpark in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. The Paw Sox have been around since 1973, playing at McCoy Stadium, which they renovated a couple of times. But McCoy Stadium is aging, and the Pawtucket Red Sox were going to move to Providence, a $100 million ballpark proposed on Providence waterfront, but the state of Rhode Island rejected that, and the state of Rhode Island is very, very lukewarm about giving funding to the Pawtucket Red Sox to build a new facility, a new ballpark, which is, which supposedly is going to be near the apex, the old apex building right off of Route 95, and that the talks have been very stalled, and if the, if the Rhode Island legislation does not accept the deal, the Paw Sox are going to move out of town, most likely out of the state of Rhode Island, and some possible cities that have been mentioned of bringing the Pawtucket Red Sox there, if they move, there's been talk that the south coast of Massachusetts, um, New Bedford, Fall River, and Taunton have been considered 
um, targets for the Paw Sox to move there and those three locations might not be the best locations because they don't even have a stadium ready for the um, in New Bedford, Fall River, and Taunton and that area of uh, Massachusetts has high, high unemployment rate. So that's something to consider if the about the Pawtucket Red Sox. Also on a, a city that's been banded about a lot has been Worcester, Massachusetts. Worcester um, had a independent minor league team years ago called Worcester Tornadoes. They have a beautiful facility, but it only seats 8,000. They need to get up to par, at least 10,000 for a trip away. And um, Worcester is willing to negotiate it with the Pawtucket Red Sox to move them there. Also, another city that's considered to get the Pawtucket Red Sox is Springfield, Massachusetts. Some land near the MGM um, Grand um, Casino that's being built there, but they have to might have to go through um, um, territorial rights because the Harvard Goat Yards of the Double A Eastern League kind of owns territorial rights to Springfield because Springfield and Hartford are close by each other, the Pioneer Valley. So the Pawtucket Red Sox might have to pay some money. Also, there's been some cities like Brockton, Massachusetts. They have a stadium, Camp Bun Bello Stadium, which seats 6,000, but they would have to bring it up to par. Another city considered Lowell, Massachusetts, because they have the spinners, but they're but Little Asher Park's only 5,000, and they would have to add 5,000 more. And also, Lynn, Massachusetts has Fraser Field, but that's 6,000. They, they would have to renovate it. So, the Pawtucket Red Sox have lots of options to choose from deciding that if they don't get the funding. But the Pawtucket Red Sox are tradition in Rhode Island and the Rhode Island government needs to step up to the plate and give them the funding. If not, and I hate to say this, the Pawtucket Red Sox will probably be moving to Massachusetts. And that's about it on that. I'll be back for the third and final video blog on night, which will be about the former TV network, cable network in New England, AT&T 3 slash Media 1 3 slash CN8 New England. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunny guy. Molly Rose Blood, WCC, Roxanne's Nice Legs, Elizabeth Hot, So So Stunning, She's Best, Amy Sweezy's Awesome, Awesome, Amy, and the Church at WPIX Channel, I love New York, such a rocking crew, it's got the best legs in New York City, but then Bob Gibbs of ABC 11, Sweet Southern Accent, Best Legs in Raleigh, North Carolina, Wencliffe, WHGH Channel 7, Boston, is awesome, has best legs in Boston, and now we will leave WABI Channel 5 in Bangor, Maine, Roxanne has the best legs in Maine. Bye now.